Well, Mercia was somewhere I'd never been to before. Uh, and obviously, I'm guessing it's probably better to come in the peak of summer. Um, but even so, the weather's not bad here at the minute. Um, one of the things I always do when I go to any destination is I put on my running shoes and I go out for a run. So I had a look on, uh, on the map and I was delighted to see that there are a number of running trails that are already marked out within the, the Mercia region. Um, so I went out, went out to my hotel room, uh, went down to the river and was able to run along a lovely path, uh, sort of slightly softer trails with like kilometre markings marked out every kilometre. Now for me that's a small thing, but that's a very important thing when I go to any city that it's actually, this is a city that has gone to the trouble to actually accommodate people who want to take exercise, people who want to go for runs. It was all, you know, there was no traffic or anything like that. So. For me, that was a, a, a massive plus. When it comes to comparing that into this, like, the digital realm, I, I, I got back to my hotel room and I, I have a sports watch, so I loaded it up to um, Strava and I was able to see that straight away I was the, uh, along that route, I think I was the fifth fastest over 45 year old ever, kind of thing along that route. So I think it's fun that a city like Mercy is actually, as well as its history and its culture and it's obviously the weather in the summer and things like that, it's adopting some of the new features about the digital traveler, um, such as embracing things like Strava to allow runners to come and enjoy their experience when they're here. So my contribution was on looking at uh, the idea of the smarter traveler, the, smarter, the, the, the new digital traveler and how they are doing things differently. Um, I like to focus on the fact that uh, I don't really believe in the idea of a digital traveler. I believe in the idea of a traveler and by and large most of them are using digital now, whether that's mobile, whether that's desktop, whatever it might be. I think very few people these days are don't have some crossover with, with digital experience. So what I was trying to focus on was the differences between um, what part of the, the purchasing funnel they're at. Are they trying to discover a place like Mercia? Is, are they, are they, is Mercia trying to um, compete with another region within Spain for that traveler booking or compete with another country or, uh, or another destination completely outside of Spain? Uh, and then actually beyond that as well, when you've actually got travellers in destination, how can Mercia and its constituents encourage people to leave more reviews uh, about, the, about the experience on TripAdvisor? Um, that to me is going to be the biggest conversion factor going forward. If you can have, get someone to have a good experience in Mercia, how can they then tell not just their friends, not just their family, not just their Facebook friends, but all the other TripAdvisor users, of which there's 390 million every month, um, what a good experience they can have here, and give them some insider tips and give them some ideas about the best things to, to see and do when they're here.